Now, I've sat in the Oval Office with both of the men who are running for president. And just in case you couldn't tell, they're very different people. I didn't think that Donald Trump would embrace my vision or my policies, but I did hope for the country's sake that he might show some interest in taking the job seriously. But he didn't. He hasn't shown any interest in doing the work or helping anybody but himself and his friends or treating the presidency as anything more than a reality show that can give him the attention that he craves, and he does crave attention. This week, it, with all, everything that's happening, you know what he brought up? He, he was fussing about the crowd size at the inauguration again, saying his was bigger. I, who, who, who is thinking about that right now? Nobody except him. But the rest of us have had to live with the consequences. More than 225,000 people in this country are dead. More than 100,000 small businesses have closed. Half a million jobs are gone in Florida alone. Think about that. And what, what's his closing argument? That people are too focused on COVID. He said this at one of his rallies. COVID, 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 he's complaining. He's jealous of COVID's media coverage. If he had been focused on COVID from the beginning, cases wouldn't be reaching new record highs across the country this week. If we were focused on COVID now, the White House wouldn't be having its second outbreak in a month. The White House. Let me say this. I lived in the White House for a while. You know, it's a controlled environment. You can take some preventive measures in the White House to avoid getting sick, except this guy can't seem to do it. He's turned the White House into a hot zone. Some of the places he holds rallies have seen new spikes right after he leaves town. And over the weekend, his chief of staff said, and I'm quoting here, I'm not making this up, his chief of staff on a news program says, we're not going to control the pandemic. He just said this. Yes, he did. And yes, we noticed you're not going to control the pandemic. Listen, winter is coming. They're waving the white flag of surrender. Florida, we can't afford four more years of this. That's why we've got to send Joe Biden to the White House. 